Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Tavia Talk and Collins Cosmos. I didn't even know we were starting yet. That's why I was well, just like... Well, it's filmed and I started the timer. Um, but we're just jumping right in. So Tavia just heard... Uh, Fucking ghost noises again. Down the hall. Somebody walking down the hall because I live in a condo. And so I saw this girl here the other day and she... She had on a pair of heels. Was and she was walking with a purpose? She was hit. Hit. And like she was walking down a runway and this was like down the sidewalk, down over here. I'm like... <laughs> Honey, take it down a little bit. You're gonna throw out a hip walking she like that. Was just My like, God. Sashay, sashay, yes. Sashay. I was just like, oh, girl. Slay the day. I'm like, nobody's out. Are you trying to impress me? Because you're barking up the wrong tree. Wrong tree. I, you know, here's the deal: is at, at the office, I work in like an old boutique oh, building. Right. So the wood floors. I mean, I'm a purposeful walker in general. Like I kind of just like I'm walking into a room and you're. You're gonna see me. Well, especially if you feel, like, feel yourself. Yeah, but when I have to come down the stairs, I, like, try to go slowly, because I sound like a fucking Clydesdale. It's like, hunk, hunk, hunk. Everybody knows I'm there. Yeah. Because they can hear me coming from the upstairs, and then I march downstairs, I'm like, I'm trying to tip down. It is loud. I've been there down. when you've been walking down the stairs before. It's aggressive, right? Yeah. Are you on call? No, sorry. There we go. Okay. There we go. So. Okay, I want to start off. Quickly, mm -hmm. I want you to look right here at my hairline. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. What's wrong? Are you worried about something? <laughs> look. Okay. First of all. Okay. Just look at it. Don't touch it. Okay. There's a lot of gray, right? Oh, I thought you were like worried it was receding or something. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't think just we're worried so about that Just so our fans yet. out there know, we're not receding. We're not receding. So I don't know if it's the blonde. See, that's what it's not the blonde. The blonde is on the tips now. It is gray. Everybody says you don't have any gray hair. Look at how much gray is in there. There's just a few. A few. It's like striped in the front. You can't tell if it's highlighted or not. I, I kind of like it. Oh my god. I was talking to Sam on the phone this morning. She's like, just tell everybody it's highlights, and I said, just splotchy white highlights. Well, all over yeah, let's just look at the rest. It's splotchy here. Let's look at the rest of your head. Yeah. I know. And then look at this side, especially in this lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay though because I think it's in. It would be better if it was just more robust. It's going to It's in it, a weird, it, weird it, spot. It, it's probably going to get robust is the thing. And then Sam Let me said, look at your eyebrows. What about them? Well, those get gray too. They're not gray. And I don't have any gray pubes, thank God. I was about oh, to God. ask if the curtains matched the drapes. Um, so I was talking to Sam this morning and she was like, do not dye your hair because I used to dye my hair black. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you dye... If you had a great pube. No, no, no. Oh. My hair. Did you just throw up in my face? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it wasn't your pubes that you were going to die. No. Of. Okay, I was just concerned that, like, you might have one gray pube and you're going to die. No, my hair. Because I used to dye black, remember? Oh, yeah, and so why did Sam gray. say not? Because I think she's trying to do the, the platinum card for another entry in that thing. So she's like, do not dye your hair. I'm like, okay. Also, I love my new haircut, but look back here. We have a little cowlick that we can't... Uh, can't put down. So I'm going to a new barber, <laughs> and I love the fade. If you're on YouTube, you can see it. The fade looks great. The fade is really good. But there's just this one little piece of right hair here. that just likes to stick up. You know what I mean? It's really not noticeable. It's I think fine. you're being a little like. It's I know, self critical. Yeah, I mean, I think you found a gray hair, and now you're like, look. There's at it. more than one. Let's okay, there's ten or so. <laughs> Or so. Yeah. Well, you know, when you sit in the mirror and look at yourself for like three hours, you find, <laughs> find things that are wrong. I don't mind them. Okay. Well, as long when as you're you, happy. I'm happy. When are you getting the blonde again? Well, so I think Sam is, it's gray, first of all. I think Sam is doing the platinum card. Oh, she's doing the gray? February. The yeah. grayish blonde look? Mm -hmm. Or the gray look? So everybody that's listening, you'll probably have to go to the YouTube channel to see what we're talking about because... Because you can't see us if you're just listening to us. So you're just going to have to go to... So you can just describe it. Yeah. I mean, I actually like when he does the grayish blonde. He did it this summer. Yeah, I did it three times, right? Mm -hmm. Or did I do it twice? I don't know. It took a lot of hours, though. Yeah. It, it, it's a lot of work. I mean, you have to wash with special You shampoo. do look so different, though. Do I? I think you look like two completely different people. You think? I do. I do. How so? I don't know. Like, the black just, like... Blends with the eyebrows and the, the facial hair. Yeah. And then when you have your grayish, it's just like a bam. Yeah. It's just like a different feel. Different vibe. I like both though. Yeah, I like to mix it up, you know? I know, but we just grew out. 
Right, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm i down to go, like, jet black again to hide all my grays, but she said no, so. You know, I'm just, it's not my world. I'm just living in everybody else's world. I know. Time. You really don't have a lot of say in anything. I don't. So, you just got back from a trip. Yep, went to Steamboat. With your oh, team. Oh, with my team for work. Correct. Um, How was it? Did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun. Did you ski? Did anybody ski? Oh, no. Was that an option? Yeah, no, we didn't ski. We all spotted instead. Did, so, does nobody <clears throat> skis in the group? Well, Lisa and I for sure do not ski. Okay. I don't know if Nikki skis. Uh, Aaron, I don't, I don't know. So that's probably no. Yeah, I think Christy does look who shakes her kids. Uh, but, I mean, who wants to ski? I mean, I would, that to take that opportunity to be, I mean, I guess it's a team building thing where no, you guys no, no. are supposed to be we, together. We weren't like building, we went to the oh. spa and laid there separate rooms. Oh. Facials. Well then, yeah, massages. I totally would have gone skiing. Oh, Steamboat no. is great skiing. Mm -mm. Like that, the oh, but spa, though? did you guys take the gondola? Did you guys eat at restaurants at the top? No, we ate at this most amazing restaurant for the second year. I can't remember what it's called. I'd have to look it up. It starts with an A. There's a Z and an R somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And um, talk about the best steak. Best steak I've ever had. It was like this most delicious filet mm -hmm. on top of short ribs. Oh. And the short ribs had a different flavor than the filet. Uh -huh. And it was like in this mushroomy sauce. That sounds good. Oh, we were like finding bread to like scoop up the scoop. sauce. And our server was the cutest. I'm trying to figure out if he was on your team or my team. Yeah, if he was gay or not. Yeah, his name <clears throat> was Aaron. A.A. Ron is what we called him by the end. <laughs> because we had- We were that. Close. We were that, yeah, we won that close before the bread basket got there. But <laughs> we'd also had a few bottles of wine and Aaron- A few bottles of wine? Yeah. How many? Just a few. And then we had a few before we got there. Oh my God. So yeah, we were having a good time. And Aaron, and then there's A.A. Ron, so we had to make a, a difference so that when I was saying Aaron, mm, my yeah, Aaron didn't think. Makes sense. So A.A. Ron, but he was so funny. And at some point in there, we were like, is there a good bar to go out to? Not me, I actually was voting to go home. Yeah. I was like, I wanna go home. So everybody else was trying to go to a bar and it's a Sunday night. Yeah. At this point, it's like eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. 8.30 maybe. And he's like, well, there's this bar just like one block up and tonight's Sunday. So I think they have like swing. And I was, I looked at him, I was like, swing. And I winked at him. He goes, oh no, not like that kind of swing. <laughs> so we got to that point and he's like, did you guys know that if you put an upside down pineapple in yeah. your shopping cart? And oh. we were all like, what? He's like, yeah, apparently in like Florida. Oh. If you put an upside down pineapple in your shopping cart, that means you swing. Yeah. And then. We were like, well, or you could just go to the ranch and put some white rocks and some flamingos. Highlands Ranch. Right. Yeah. And he was like, really? And so we, he had, we had a great time. He let us, he was not, the restaurant wasn't super busy at 8.30 on a Sunday. So we're like, we're going to hang out because the swing, the swing dancing was until 10. And then the, the DJ started at 10. And so we're like, well, we'll just stay at the restaurant and drink until 10. closer to 10. So yeah. we had two hours to kill. Oh, wow. So he just kept serving us and hang out and then we're finally like all right we're gonna leave and we totally missed it but we were at we finally went to the bar and we met another server that works there and she's like did you guys see the pineapple and we're like what <gasps> what so he was so cute he ran to the back to the chefs and was like do we have a pineapple and they're like yeah here and he left an upside down pineapple in the coat check room as like a joke oh but my none God. of us saw Oh, I was like, that's cute. Hey, we need to go back and give A.A. Ron another tip. And then Aaron's going to Yelp review him. Because we're like, he was on point. And we he left. Aaron Yelp review? People? No, she just, she was like, we need to do that. And I was like, yeah, we do. Who was I talking to? Was it you that said, if you review a lot of, if you do a lot of re Yelp reviews? Like, oh, no, it wasn't. It's um, uh, Spencer and Janelle's coworker, Ashley. She does a lot of them. She does like 300 a year or something more than that. And she gets invited to these like private events. Like you become like some sort of status and they invite you to things. No, I don't have time for that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, no. Like but they you have, have to be like detailed reviews like, of like, you, like, like chilies? Well, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the ins and outs. Can <laughs> you, you detail do... review Chipotle today? I guess. I don't know. No. So anyways, AA Ron was funny and we went to this bar and I was sitting in the back of the car and I was like, I'm not getting out. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. Turned on some music and I was like, all right, I'm in it for a minute. That's it. 
And then two and a half hours later, we were like, can we go home now? It's like 1230. It wasn't as EDM, but it was like, I'm not kidding you. It sounded like the same goddamn song. House music. Just played yeah. backwards, and right. then the next time it was played forwards, and right. the next time it was played, it was the same song. Yeah. I was like, there, guy, there was 12 of us in the bar. Were any of you vibing on it? No, it was awful. We met this like group of people. See, that would have been my vibe. No, Colin, it wasn't even your vibe. Like, it was not... I don't know how to explain it. Maybe but, it was like, so in the gay world, there's these after hours clubs, so like after 2 p.m., and they play what's called house music. Who's out at that time? Well, if you're on some sort of substance and you can't go to bed, mm -hmm. <laughs> then okay. you uh, it's not me. You go to these out of these after hour clubs, and they it's, they play house music, which is that. It's like basically the same beat, and you're just kind of messed up and like dancing with people. And I mean, that's literally, where, that's where you were you the after hours club? Yeah, we're at the after hours club <laughs> at ten o'clock, and then there was like this group of guys that were in skiing, and they were like, "What is this music?" Because they were from the south. Yeah, and we're like. At EDM, and they're like, okay, what do you do to this? And then, so one, what do you do there was this one guy who was married, he was so funny, like, the music would start, and he would dance, and then the next song, which was the same fucking song, but backwards, he would do everything backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and at cute. one point, there was two of them, and they were pretending to do jump rope. Oh, and we did, like, a jump rope, because there was nothing to dance to, to this song. So at right. one point, I came out of the bathroom, and they were jumping, and I was, like, signaling double dutch, and they yeah. were like, Reset, reset. We really? started double dutching, and I like jumped in and was doing double dutch to EDM, oh. and I was like, "It's time to go." That's cute. Like at this was that point, your, that, your, that was your moment. Yeah, but I had stopped drinking, so I was starting to like right. realize the crowd, and I was yeah. like, "It's it's time to disassociate." Yeah, time it's so go. weird. I feel like usually on Sundays, big that's a big night because people stay through like Monday, so they go out. Maybe they don't go out Sunday. It's a mountain town. Well, and that's it. Well, Steamboat's big though. Yeah. And so, <laughs> Sadie <laughs> thinks the crowd in Steamboat's a little strange. You know, it's fine. It's just, I could never live in a mountain town. Yeah. Die. I totally could. Could you live in, like, Breck? No, Colin. That is my dream to get, like, a condo or a house up in Breck and just Could be... you honestly, though, when... Oh, there's nothing to do there. It's so slow-paced. Yeah, it's relaxing. Everybody's and then looked, it snows every like... couple days, and it's pretty. And, and you go skiing, and you're a little ski bunny, and... There's nice restaurants. There's no Target. There's one Starbucks. You see the same seven people because they work at the Starbucks and then they work at the breakfast place and then they work at the grocery store because there's nothing to do. They have 17 jobs just to stay busy. Yeah, so maybe a mountain life is not your vibe, but it's definitely mine. That's where Stop. I want to retire is in the mountains. That's so bizarre to me because you're the least outdoorsy person other than skiing. Like you're very outdoorsy with skiing, but like what are you gonna do in the summer? Not, not live there. Yeah, no, live there. And do what? Not mountain bike. Right Walk there. around the same street yeah. with the same 12 shops? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, I'm into it. That's my vibe when I retire. Not my vibe. Well, then you, you're living a slower paced life at, at that time, right? I don't want to be slow. I know. You, you, so I, sometimes I, I tell Tavia that I have a boy and we like lay in bed all day on like oh. a Saturday or Sunday. And she said that she couldn't do that because Who wants to lay in bed all I do. day. See, I think you're you're you need to be like busy. And I, I do. Don't. I am. A, I need. I can. Like, I'm chill. a busy beaver. Right. Yeah. Like even when I'm sick, I'm like sitting at home. Oh God! It sounds like the worst event of my life. Yeah. I just want like I need something to do. Yeah. I mean, I could maybe try to sleep in until eight, but I'm not gonna lay there and snuggle you until five. Oh my God, it sounds amazing. And then no. you just bone like a couple times and get food, order food in and watch Oh movies. God, just lay there with your Chinese Sid, like yeah. <laughs> droppling on you. Mm -mm. That sounds great. And then some cheesecake to top it off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not supposed to say anything, but okay, so Samantha and my friend, our friend Samantha and Devon came over the other night and Samantha cooked for us and she was like, Let's order cheesecake. No, I knew about that. Oh, did she tell you? Yeah. She's like, do not tell Alec. That's her boyfriend. Yeah, because you guys, that same day, let me just... Let wait, me wait, just, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, <laughs> so, we're, so I was with Alec and Sam the other day at King Supers. I don't know why I was there with them. I don't know how I get myself in the Yeah, I don't know. You just live but all of our lives. at King Supers with them, and I saw cheesecake, and Sam was like, do not tell Alec about that. I was like, oh, look, there's cheesecake. I haven't had cheesecake in forever. And she's like... Do not say anything. It was really funny. Well, because let's just say that same exact day, I was really busy that day. Remember? Yeah. And I was like, you guys, who 
isn't craving a McDonald's sausage McMuffin, no egg, because that is who? No, the egg is the best. Anyway, fresh egg. and I was like, who, who doesn't want one of those? And they are both were on like a group talk, group chatting, no talking. Yeah. FaceTime. <laughs> Anyways, and they're like, do now go to McDonald's. Blah, blah. And I was like, all right, well, I can either mute you, hang up on you, but I'm going <laughs> to McDonald's and I'm getting myself a sausage with moment. And I'm going to tell you something. I regretted it a few hours later because I was tasting the hash brown still, but it tasted amazing. And then I find out that you guys had Uber Eats deliver 17 pieces of cheesecake that night. It was, first of all, it was not my doing. Well, did you eat it? Yeah. But she was like, I was like, do not order me a piece. She's like, I'm ordering you a piece. And I'm like, don't order it because if it comes here, I'm going to eat it. Yeah. And that was way worse than my, that was way worse than my McMuffin. True. That's true. But don't you feel like sometimes after you meet, eat McDonald's, you just feel like sluggish and like... Well, I did because for some reason I was not digesting that hash brown. I was like, blah, blah, why. Blah, 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 blah. But it was my favorite part. I know. The hash brown is good. Oh, wait. That's the other thing. So last time we were talking about massages. Remember? Oh, and we were like, panty on, right. panty off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's confirmed. I, uh -oh. I pantied off. Okay. And, and I got a full run. Like, she took the... Like, you know, sometimes they just massage over the sheet. Well, you don't go like that. Right, yeah. So sometimes they keep the sheet draped on your cheek and they, like, massage you with a barrier. Yeah. No, she full on took the sheet, whoosh, whoosh, tucked it in my butt crack, and then swooped it under my legs so, like, oh, yeah. you couldn't see my gina. <laughs> but, like, literally, like, like if you could see my hands, like, in my butt crack. Okay. I was like... That's going to be weird. So, and then swooped <laughs> it over and she just got in there and I was like, you know, that was amazing. But this masseuse, she was fantastic. Wait, so, the, wait, she, wait, 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 let okay. me get this straight. So you, she put it on <laughs> one cheek and then the other cheek was exposed. So you're right? laying okay. and you have the whole sheet on you. Okay. And then she just like pulls it and okay. tucks it in your crack. Okay. And then swoops it under your leg. So your whole part of your body is exposed. One side. One side. Not okay. your, not your shoulder. Okay. 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 Yeah. And then she's rubbing. In there, elbows, all of it. it was amazing. But then she was a fantastic masseuse. But at one point, I swear to God, she was like rolling me like she was kneading dough. <laughs> and I was like, what's happening here? As my whole body's like, Whoa. <laughs> and she's like, I'm just wiggling out your spine. I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. Like full on, like, and then like, she put me on my side. I was like, okay. <laughs> like at some point you just like come, like you just like give it to Jesus. And you're just like. <laughs> I'm not sure if all boobs are out, if some boob, if my child, like, I don't know what's happening. But you just give it up to Jesus that it's all going to be okay. And she's like, call me on my side. Next thing you know, I feel a hand come up, like, from underneath my tummy. And she's literally, like, rolling me like she's rolling out Play-Doh. And I'm not going to lie, though. I stood up and I was like, well, that's not fantastic. Uh -huh. But it, I got there and everybody's sitting in their robes and we're sitting down in the quiet room. I was like, did anybody get roughed up? Like... Did anybody else get rolled out like a dough? And they're like, uh, no. <laughs> they're like, like oh. that's weird. Okay, well, I did. And I had a full, like, in my butt crack. Hmm. Sheeting. What if you didn't wipe good enough? Right? I mean, I thought to myself, like, I hope it's not sweaty. <laughs> that's gonna be weird. I don't think I've ever been put on my side in a massage. Have you? Yeah, so there's one masseuse that I go to. He does, like, more of a sports massage. Is this the one that your father goes to? No. Jorjito? No. No, I don't know where he goes. <laughs> We don't discuss that. The whole story behind that. The whole that. story behind that one. No, he's up north and he does like a sports massage. My mom goes to him, but like he bends you in a way you didn't know your body bent and he stretches you out and you're like, that was I don't know if I want to be stretched. Well, oh. I like to be tickled. I like a very, oh, like, just gross. tickle me. We got pedicures the first day we got there. And my lady, um, so first of all, Lisa had the guy. And I prefer a pedicure from a man. They're more detailed. They're like way better at the massage. I got the little old lady who literally, this is how she massaged my leg. She was like. Barely touching you. I was like, I'm sorry, is this foreplay? Or is there going to be, <laughs> is there going to be, I paid for the extended massage. Yeah. And normally you get your toenail polish taken off first. No, yeah. it was still on there. And she's just like doing this to my, my leg. And I'm like. Yeah, because usually they are. Yeah, and you hear it. You hear the like. <laughs> like yeah. smacking yeah. no like, and I thought gosh. to myself okay okay this is foreplay she's gonna take off my nail polish there's gonna be more to this there was not more to this and I was thought to myself hmm okay but I also had the massage chair have you read the massage chair where it goes up your butt crack no I don't oh, like to turn on the massage oh my gosh so mine was the 
not the only one. I think Christy's did too, but I'm sitting there and I'm like talking and I'm like, okay, okay. And as it goes down your back, there's one in between your crotch. I'm not kidding you. And it goes like that, like pressure in your butt crack. It is. Did it's you like concerning. It? Did you no, like it or not? They had you kind of like it. They had me sitting there for so long because they were so slow that I was like, I'm, it's going to be bruised. <laughs> it's bruising. Your husband's like, uh, what happened here? Yeah, what happened here? <laughs> well, it was the massage chair and it was like, the pressure was just too much. I just don't like those things because then like, it's on. You're like, oh, uh, 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 and then it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. And I love when I'm talking to you, I'm like, hey, how do you feel today? And then it rolls the whole back and you're like, <laughs> And then it like jerks you forward yeah. and you're like, uh. <laughs> I'm not into this. Well, and it's always so funny because it depends on what you're wearing, but everything just like shakes. <laughs> you're just shaking and shimmying all over the nail salon. Yeah, and everybody's just like, what is that? Here we go. My mom is the worst because she like turns it on high and she'll be talking. She's like, oh, what's your day? Like, my mom. <laughs> like, mom, just turn it down a little. And she's a little, too. yeah. Oh, yeah. Those so it's like, are. it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's how I felt. A hundred percent. But I'm not as busty. But so where was the other place that you've had it in your butt? There was a place in Westminster that did that to me too and I was like, Do you remember where? Stop it. No, it was over by the apartment. You're like, stop it, but keep going. Stop it. Mm. <laughs> it was weird. I'm not, I'm, it was weird. It was odd. But I, now I know. No panties means butt massage. Yeah. I'm not a mountain person. I feel like I kind of want to test it out now too. The no panty? Yeah, and get like a... A little you know, glutes. Maybe a guy, guy's perspective. I haven't had a massage in a long time. Okay. About so time. should you do that before the next show here? And then we can... Oh, I could do that. We can sample what happens to you. This is like an ongoing test. I mean, I mean, if she rolls you out like Play-Doh. Yeah. I mean, just pee. Oh, and she did this thing where she was like pinching my skin. I'm not going to lie. That one kind of hurt. Really? <laughs> I was like, why are you... Okay, but... Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is a little kid. Oh, they, okay. Is it one or is it when they have that whole trolley? I don't know. <laughs> so, there, so there's a daycare just somewhere around here. I think it might be the trolley. It's the trolley. You they guys can a, probably hear it. They have a full on like 12 seater like stroller trolley. Yeah. And they put them all in there and they walk the whole building and they go up and down the elevator and the kids. Just for a little activity. Yeah. Just the kids are just air. beaming with excitement <laughs> every time. <laughs> You open the elevator and there's 20 of them in this trolley and they're like, again, again. you're like, okay. <laughs> okay, I have a question about the yeah. massage thing. So when you walk into a massage, mm -hmm. what do you say to them? Uh, I want an all over massage and I enjoy pressure. That's what you say. Yeah, and I say sometimes I think the stress is in my shoulders, but I'll let you decide where it's at. Oh. So I'll walk in and I'll say, I like light to medium pressure. I hope. Light to medium. <laughs> That's like such a waste <laughs> of time. And then I say mainly focus on my lower and upper back because I feel like with lifting weights like that gets like really So a light up. pressure like I could do this you could pay me $65 sure. tip to, to rub your shoulders Undoubt, like it feels great That is not helping your muscles Well, they you like, like it. No, I don't like it when they like what is that called when they when they oh like get underneath? my god. She did something in my armpit. I'm not kidding. I've never had something in my armpit. Oh, she I'm sensitive. Okay. <laughs> She literally found a pressure point and was like, oh, in my <laughs> She was like in my armpit and she's like, does it feel, does that hurt? I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> like it felt so, and then she was like pinching right here and it was like still digging in my armpit. I was like, she's going to town on me. Have you ever like giggled during it? Like the, the ticklish? Are you ticklish? I am ticklish, but I kind of fight through it. I was like. <laughs> like the armpit so one was bad. the armpit one was a little ticklish, but I was like, just it's almost over, it's almost over, it's almost over. I used to be so bad, especially with my feet. Like they touch them, I'm like, oh, really? Stop. <laughs> yeah. At least with the pedicure. Oh god, my pedicure was horrendous. She was, I don't know what was happening. And then she couldn't paint my nails. Like she was a little old, and I, it's just so every time she finished she with somebody, living. every time she was finished with somebody, somebody else younger came over and painted. I was like. Okay, so who do I tip? The painter or the not painter? Okay, we only have a couple minutes left. Isn't that sad? Is it already time? Yeah. How? How do you know? Swipe it. We have 
Two minutes, 30 Oh seconds. my God, this goes so quick. I know. Well, especially because I haven't talked to you in I know, I kind of went MIA. Samantha called me while I was there and I was like, she's like, what, two days without you? I said, I know. I know. That's what happens when you guys become so codependent on mama. But the thing is, um, she has been sick for the last couple days, so I haven't heard from her either. Oh, perfect. You know, and oddly enough, I had a little weird moment on Monday night where I felt like a little lonely. <laughs> what? You missed us? I think I did. And it, now it's all coming to, it's all, the puzzle pieces are coming together because you were gone. Oh, yeah. Samantha was sick. Yeah. And it was just you. Like, I had a little ladies. moment. I had um, a little moment, like should... Monday night, where I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> like, I just felt a little empty. Because, like, it felt it, a the, thing, empty? the thing about it is, so Tavia and Samantha and Devon call me. All day long. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. We're talking on the phone all day, all mm -hmm. the time. And so, I don't know, I feel like, and I complain about it. I'm <laughs> like, okay, this is too much. Like, if yeah. I'm in a meeting, they'll like, rapid dial me. And I complain about it saying it's too much, but then you get used to it. And then when it doesn't happen, you n it makes the heart grow fonder. It does. And you know, here's the other thing, is that Colin used to not answer, so we, now he shares his location on Find My Friend, so I can just pull his ass up and be like, all right, I see you at the office. Or I have say, okay. Are you sure you're you put hanging? that out to the universe that you stalk me like that? I don't care. I stalk the shit out of him when okay. he doesn't answer. What happened the first time? So I turned it on before and then I had yeah. forgotten about it. And yeah. I'm just driving and I go to get gas right by my house. And she calls me and she's like, what are you doing at 7-Eleven? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm looking around. Are you watching me? <laughs> and I was like, oh. And so I turned it off. I'm oh, like, okay, he you're did. In timeout. He did. He put me in timeout for like a, a while. A few minutes. Yeah, and then I remember I turned it back on because I was like, I had a busy day, and I know that if Tavia, if I don't answer, Tavia's gonna freak out. So I turned it back on. I get a text message. Yeah, I saw so I, I was like, reinitiated. Re yeah, so that you wouldn't blow my phone up because I had a busy day. And but it works out. because then if I'm like, oh, he's probably showing, or sometimes I'm like, that's a weird location. Maybe he's not showing. I think she showing. abuses the power sometimes. Yeah, but. like when he doesn't answer me on a Sunday or a Saturday. And he, He's at his, his house from eight to five. five. I mean, now we know what we're doing. We're eating Chinese food in bed and like long, Like oolong noodles. <coughs> on you. All right, All well, right. that wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Hit that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify or iTunes, yep. make sure you follow us. Follow Colin. Every, uh, oh yeah, on Instagram, Colin's Cosmos. Yep. Uh, every, we upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Yep. Join us on another Tavia Talk. Do you have Good. any last words of encouragement for everybody? That's how the cookie That's crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles. All right, thank you so much for joining us on this one, and we will check you on the next one. Bye.